Welcome to the Investing Podcast presented by Tusk Media. The final bell has rung and the market is now closed. So let's move on to an audio and video recap with the Investing Happy Hour. Wasn't very loud, not very dramatic, but this is the Investing Podcast presented by Tusk Media. This is your Investing Happy Hour. Cheers, everybody. Drink a big one for us. Another bad day for the market, but we're glad to be here. It's Monday, June 27th, 2016. Hit subscribe because we have a really important episode coming up in just a couple hours. It's Bond Week, day one, day one of five. We do five day weeks here at Narwhal because we don't commit to weekends. So check it out, though. We got Bond Week coming up. First episode, we're going to talk about what bonds are, why you might like them, why we like them, and kind of set the table for the rest of the week. You guys will love it. We've been hyping it up. Make sure you hit subscribe so that you get that episode. Let's talk a little bit first, though, about the market. I say a little bit because we don't want to talk too much about this. It was rough. Equities were down across the board just about. Dow was down 1.5%, S&P down 1.8%, NASDAQ down 2.4% today. We've been calling it the Brexit hangover all day, and it's continuing. People need to get the Pedialyte still. Hadn't made it there yet. Got to recover. Maybe eat some fruits. Some greasy food will be good as well for this market at this juncture. So hopefully we get a little bit of a rebound at some point soon. Uh, winners and losers, we do have a couple winners. We mentioned Kroger earlier in the day. Again, they're doing a big share buyback. They raised their dividend. And again, they don't have a lot of exposure to European markets. So that certainly helped them out. Tesla was up 2.8% today. So another winner there, especially for a company that we've talked about recently uh, with their announced Solar City acquisition last week, which was not perceived all that positively. So good to see Tesla have a good day. Uh, AT&T up strongly as well. A number of companies that don't have much European exposure are starting to kind of tick back upwards a little bit. As money is sitting there on the sideline, I think, and they're seeing equity allocations, their stock portfolios shrink, and they want to put some money back to work. I think investors are starting to put more there, specifically into companies that have minimal exposure to the UK to the EU union, that whole area as it may be. So I think you're going to start to see that. On the other side of the losers, man, you got some rough, rough stocks out there. Barclays down 21%. RBS, Royal Bank of Scotland, down about 14%. So those companies that are right in the thick of things over there as we deal with this Brexit fallout, they're really, really having a tough time. But we'll keep, keep monitoring those. We'll be back kind of throughout this week seeing how those companies start to turn around. Like I said last week, we do hope this, this is kind of a short road bump in the grand scheme of things, and hopefully we get a rebound pretty soon. But we're not going to time the market. Keep staying focused out there. People be disciplined. Look for individual opportunities as they present themselves. Don't chase anything. Don't buy the market blindly. We don't think this is one of those situations where you can do that all that successfully because it is so widely spanning the impact of this, and it's not totally known what that final impact will be. Bond week. We touched on it earlier. Really important episode coming up. That's the good news for the day, really, is that we have such a stellar Bond Week episode going on. Intern Joseph is standing behind the lighting umbrella, shaking his head no, but I'm pretty sure he's wrong. It's going to be really great. It's myself and Matt Burton talking about it. You guys are going to love it. And we've got more good news. We've got two new guys here, uh, Sam Frost and Ben Nyer here. Finally, we've been talking about the new analysts, and we didn't want to say their names until they actually showed up because we didn't want to jinx them, but they're here. So uh, Ben Nye, come on up and introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. I'm Ben Nye. I'm excited to be here in Atlanta. I was a graduate of the University of Washington. I worked for a few years in Eugene, Oregon, and now I'm coming from uh, Pac-12 country down to uh, Bulldog country, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I'm excited to see more of you guys in the next few months and uh, beyond that as well. Awesome. We're glad to have Ben here, and now coming this way is uh, Sam Frost. Hey everybody, I'm Sam Frost. Uh, glad to be here. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. Um, went to undergrad, Mississippi State. Went and got an MBA from Carnegie Mellon, uh, Tepper School of Business, and a uh, little bit of work experience as a financial analyst. Looking forward to be here. Looking forward to meeting everybody. Thanks, guys. We're really excited to have them here. Um, one, they're going to lighten the workload, which is really all they're here for, is just to make my life a little bit easier. But two, we're really excited to have them, honestly, for this podcast. This was a big thing we kind of dreamed up at the same time we were making job offers to these guys, and they were very much kind of on our mind when we were starting to figure out how this thing would look. And we haven't really gotten fully into what we want this to be, which is more back and forth, more commentary, more dialogues, more discussions. So we're definitely setting the table for that. Along those lines, we will absolutely be doing the long-form interviews. 
uh, with these people over the coming days. So we'll get Sam one on one with me. We'll get Ben one on one with me. Probably air those interviews next week or the week thereafter. So y'all have a great night. Again, listen to Bond Week. We can't plug it enough. We will talk to y'all in the morning, and we're going to have Bond Week tomorrow, too. That's the best part about a week. It happens more than once. So y'all have a great night. Talk to you soon. Tusk Media is a subsidiary of Narwhal Capital Management. Ratings and reviews of Tusk Media content are not to be construed as endorsements of opinions, analysis, or services offered by Tusk or its parent company. The opinions and predictions shared here are our professional beliefs at the time of publication. We are not under duress from any of the corporate entities mentioned. This is not a solicitation to take any particular action. Although we are investment advisors, this information should not be considered investment, legal, or tax advice. We strive to be as impartial, insightful, and accurate as possible. We base our opinions, analysis, and calculations on information we believe to be reliable, but we cannot guarantee its accuracy. We can, however, guarantee that our opinions will sometimes be flat out wrong due to a variety of factors. Employees and clients of Narwhal Capital Management may or may not hold positions in the securities detailed and may or may not hold these positions in the future. A full list of all securities purchased, sold, or held during the 12 months preceding the date of this publication can be provided upon request. Unless otherwise noted, all data accessed via MarketWatch or the Bloomberg Terminal. Past performance does not guarantee future results. A copy of Narwhal's form ADV is available at the SEC's website, www.advisorinfo.sec.gov, or from Narwhal upon written request.